Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Wormholes from designer Peter McPherson and publisher AEG. Looks like we're looking at 45 minutes to play from one to five players. Create wormholes, deliver passengers, connect the galaxy. Ah, sounds like maybe, maybe, perhaps a little pick up and deliver going on. That would be my guess, but I don't know. As the captain of a passenger spaceship with a wormhole fabricator, you can become the best in the business by building a robust, a robust network of wormholes. All right, well, let's take a look inside this medium-sized box, I'd say. So, this creates, or this illustrates an issue that I have and that I've seen many others have. I don't understand why rule books are made the exact size of the box, because oftentimes this is what happens. Is it a big deal? No, it's not a big deal. Is it annoying? Yep, it's annoying. All right. Here we go, objective. Each play, oh, I've already covered that. When there are wormholes next to all planets, play continues for three more rounds before the game ends. The player with the most points is the winner. All right, so it's gonna be somewhat player driven as far as the end of the game, it sounds like. So we've got our illustrated setup here. Turn overview, each turn a player has three energy they may spend on moving their ship. They don't have to use all their energy each turn, but energy cannot be saved for future turns. Once per turn, players can flip their pickup token to pick up passengers. So yeah, it definitely seems like a pick up and deliver. Yep, pick up, drop off. All right, and it looks like you're also gonna be using, creating and using wormholes, placing wormhole tokens to allow you to move around the board more efficiently. All right, so it seems like a pretty simple rule set, which is nice. We talk about the map here, and then they discuss the solo variant here. All right, so I'm intrigued by that simple rule set. Let's take a look at some of the components. All right, some, looks like nice, actually, nice quality wooden, or wooden, sorry, cardboard components. Um, nice thickness. Oh, this is interesting. We also have some plastic discs here. Huh, those are quite nice. Are they plastic or wood? I think they might be wood, actually. Screen printed with some nice, almost a foil effect happening here. I really like those. Those are pretty cool. Um, and again, I think they're wood, not plastic. But they're a very lightweight wood. There's also some small little wooden ships here. I'm not going to show all of them, but I'll show you the purple one. Because purple, of course, is the best color. Save the cards. Let's take a look at our pieces that are going to be connected to form our map. All right, got the kind of familiar space look to it. All double-sided as you might expect. All right, well, small box, not a lot of components, but the components that are here seem to be quite nice. Let's take a look at the cards, see what these look like. There are a lot of cards here. We've got some player aid cards to start off with, double-sided with map features on one side and the turn structure on the other. All right. Let's, sorry about that. Let's take a look-see here. So these are some very, very, what's the word? I mean, they're, they're, there's not a lot to these. It's mostly art with a small value here. Perhaps these just represent different areas on the map that you can go to, or... Hmm. All right, well, cards are very simple. Not a whole lot to them, but the game itself seems relatively simple, so perhaps that makes sense. All right, I'm intrigued by the short amount of rules. I'm intrigued by the short play time that is 
promised. I like pick up and deliver, so I'm interested in taking a look at wormholes. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.